time I'll get to those, but yeah. This is almost gone, obviously, but how would, you, how would you want the military to be funded if not by... Oh, that's a bit of a question. Uh, through voluntary taxation. That is, I don't believe in compulsory taxation. It's theft. You know, even if it's just a little bit, it's still theft. Uh, but, you know, I don't know about you guys, but right now the government takes about 50 plus percent of my income. Actually, if you take into account everything, the government actually takes it away from me 60 plus percent of my income, maybe closer to 70 percent. It also reduces my standard of living dramatically through all the regulations and everything else going on in the world. Imagine that all went away. If people were truly free, I'd have my 60, 70 percent of my income back, but I'd be making a lot more money in real terms because the economy would be, you know, I think the U.S. could grow at 8, 9 percent GDP growth a year. I don't think there are any boundaries to economic growth. I mean, imagine the technologies and the advancement and the quality of life and the standard of living and life longevity and everything like that. Would I be willing to take a percentage of my pay and voluntarily pay for military and police? Absolutely, I'd be happy to do it. Who am I protecting? Me and my values and my property and my goods. Would most people be willing? Yes. Uh, is there going to be a small minority who's not? Sure. Do we call them an economics free writers? Yes. Do I care? No. beneficiaries of, even if other people benefit for free. In, in the old America, in the 19th century America, people built roads. They built roads. And they didn't charge a levy for using it. People just used the roads. Because they wanted to get from point A from point B. And they got enormous economic benefits from getting from point A to point B. And if a thousand other people got smaller economic benefits from getting from point A to point B, what did they care? There's very little cost to maintaining that road, and yet the benefits are huge. So, look, they are every single day, all of us, benefit enormously from positive externalities. People like to talk about negative externalities, but there are many, many, many more positive externalities in the world we live in than negative externalities. How many of you actually pay the true value to you of all the products that you use? I mean, think about what your computer really, really needs to you. All the benefits that you get throughout an entire lifetime of having the computer, and not just you having the computer, but that the computers exist and that society is all computerized. I mean, is it worth a thousand bucks to you? No, it's worth millions of dollars to you. If you really think about what it's worth to you as a cumulative of its impact on all society, yet you pay a thousand bucks, but the fact that the computer industry exists is an enormous positive externality on it. If you were forced to pay the true cost, whatever the hell that means, of, of, I mean, but that's not how markets work. Markets are all about positive externalities, enormous positive externalities. Not to mention the little ones. Though. You, know, you know, we all talk about these negatives, but the negatives are trivial as compared to problems. Now, the free rider problem is not a problem. So they're free riders. I'm still willing, it's still, you know, the police force is there to protect me. Yes, I could go through the calculation, well, I won't pay, but my neighbors will. But I want to pay, because these are good guys, and they're protecting me. And I value my life. And if you're rational, you would want to do that. And if we ever reach a point where we actually have a free society, most people would be rational. We're not going to reach the with irrational people. So they would be happy to pay for the services that they actually get. Is the reason you don't steal when you go into a store, is the only reason you don't steal because you'll get caught? How many of you pay when you go to a store because it's the right thing to do? Because you got a service and you want to compensate the other side for the service. Well, I hope most of you. If you could get away with stealing, would you do it? No. So why wouldn't you pay for police if you're getting that service? 